Hello and welcome to another Premium RAM P6 lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can create a report with S steps in Premium RAM P6. As you know, on the Enterprise menu, we have Activity Steps template. When we create the template, then we are going to implement these steps for each of the activities. If the steps is individual, we need to add it by ourselves. For instance, step A or step B. But if the steps is not special, you can add it from a step from templates. If you add the templates, then all the steps are going to be added over here. Now let me to remove these two steps and come back to the current situation for this project. Here we have the steps over the project, but as you see for each of document. I have a different progress. But the thing is, what is the each step progress in the overall of the project? How many documents issue for comment? How many documents receive client comment? How many documents issue for approve? And to the end of project. So it is very important to monitor the data based on each steps because we can find the trend of document is ongoing on the project or not. And if we face it with some bottleneck during the project, we can solve it. But what is the solution? The solution is report. If you go to the report module, then over here, if you want to create a report, go to the add and report wizard going to be appear. Then, if you scroll down, you can find three type of a step report you can create it. First, activity steps items. This kind of report focus on the step details internally. You cannot find this step is connected to the which project. So let me to come back. Activity steps templates. By these templates of the report, you can find out which step template you created and this step template is connected to the which items. It's focus on a step name template, description, and a step weight. So again, it's not connected to the activities and project. So let me to skip it. And activity steps. If you proceed to create a report by activity steps, then you have this opportunity to find it. This activities is connected to the which items on the project because it's completely connected to the activity activity id and s steps and full of descriptions then if you go to the group and sort you want to create a report based on the wbs you can create it but as you know we have the access to the activity steps on the activity section so wbs is not matter for us we want to know that how many steps we have in the overall of project for this act project we created six activities so we want to know that what is the progress of each steps for each of sections now we want to proceed over here, you have the filtration, but, but this filtration is only work for steps. So let me to skip it 
and proceed. Here is the step report. Let me to call it activity step progress. Then next, I want to run the report. By the limited text file, the field delimiter is comma and text qualifier is double quotation. Then I run it. Waiting for the result. Here is the result. Activity step report by Gun chart. Let me to again come back to the Primora P6. and remove from group and sort WBS and run the report with a copy of the setting. Now here we have the better sorted report. This is a step name. It's connected to the each of activities, our document, and here we have some activity ID, activity steps, completed status of activity steps, and project name. Also here we have the progress and step weight. Now how we can collect the information. I need to create a template for progress but before we want to create this template let's to compare this extracted file with other one here is the first extracted file here is the second one on the WBS on a step creation we have the WBS for each of the steps but as you see the monitoring area over here is a step name so we don't want to work with wbs so data on the wbs is not well sorted over here it is sorted but includes some space and p6 is going to be generate some subtotal over here but the criteria of the report is focused on a step's name, so I prefer the second extracted file. Let me to proceed over here. I'm going to generate a template for the report. Let me to paste it over here. I need to copy this Come back to the, let me to add percentage over here, paste the value over here, go to the data and add the remove duplicate. Then I have the exact steps for this report and I'm going to paste it over here. Then. I want to count the total docs which is available over here. The total docs with these steps up to last steps. Then I want to use count if. Then where is the range? The range is over here and My criteria is the steps name. I copy this formula and paste it. Now I want to know that how many of these steps is going to be completed. So if you look at it over here, we have issue for comment and if it is completed, you have the yes on the completed column. So instead of count if, you need to write count ifs equal to count ifs, then 
Criteria one is a step name. I'm looking for this step under range one, criteria one, over here, and then criteria range two. I'm looking for yes over here then it's going to be count for me how many s steps to be completed so i right click and now we need to calculate the weight factor of each s steps we can use the liner information for equal to these steps separated to sum of total by fix. Then you will calculate it based on percentage. It's going to be shown to you how many steps weight is already assigned to this project then we need to calculate the progress the progress of each steps is equal to the completed steps divided to total document then if you copy and paste this formula you can calculate all the progress for these items. Now, here is your template. If you want to make some change on your project, how does it work for you? First, let me to save this file. I save it. Now, if I come back to the Primavera P6 and save the file, then I come back to the project. I'm going to add another section. I copy this. And paste it. Shift it down. And rename it. For instance, it is instrument. With same items. Then, I'm going to remove sum of the progress for each of document. As you see, it's reflected over here on the each document setting. The activity steps is a very useful item because whenever your client asks for further breakdown on your schedule, you can convince them by this solution. Also, you don't need to develop your schedule on the relationship. So, without add a logic to your schedule, you can completely progress further detail. In addition of these items, you don't need to split this document to this part. So, it will avoid to schedule divided activity to the smaller piece of work and the monitoring and controlling this item is not easy if you know if you want to know that what is the proper setting for activity steps to be responsive when you apply or added or deleted some activity steps 
Over here on the steps tabs on activity detail, it's going to be responded to the activity percent complete. You need to look at the above video. On the, that video, I completely described the total requirement for the activity steps. So now we created and updated the schedule for other items. Now I come back to the report. As you saw, I have the different information. Then I right click, go to the run report by same format of setting. The file going to be open over here like this. Then I only need to use control A, select all the information, right click, copy and go to the template over here, right click and paste it. Then as you see, our database is going to be changed. Over here, you have the new progress for the activity steps. If you want to know that what is the previous progress, you need to use on the here is the previous progress for activity steps. Let me to paste it over here by the value format. Then here is the previous table. And if you want to update it, you need to go to this file, select it as I explained, copy and on the template without you want to change anything over here you need to right click and paste it then if you come back to the percentage you can find that the total percentage over here and total quantity is completely different with previous one and the file can read the new database by this kind of report, you can find what is the trend of each steps on the project. If you face it with some bottleneck on the project, then you can find it. And before you face it with delay, you can solve it. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.